Now let's look at some trigonometric functions, what we call special angles. And those special angles are 30 degrees, 45 degrees, um, 60 degrees, or they're equivalent in um, radians. And there are some trig functions that you're going to have to know by memory, and those are the ones that are, that are involving these special angles and multiples of these special angles. And then the rest you are able to evaluate using your calculator. So there are a few different ways to help you memorize the trig functions of special angles. And if you're not a good memorizer, sometimes if you derive where they came from, it helps you get a better understanding. So let's start by deriving the six trig functions of 45 degrees. And we can do that using a square. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a diagonal in the square. So what we've done is we've basically cut the square in half, and this square has sides of length 1. And so when I cut this square in half, or I draw a diagonal across, I know that I also have cut the 90 degree angle in half. So both of these angles right here are 45 degrees. So if I just focus on this special triangle, triangle that has, it's, it's called an isosceles triangle because the the two legs are the same. And I know this is 45 degrees. This is a right triangle, so this is 90. If I want to find C, I can use a Pythagorean theorem. I know that C squared equals 1 squared plus 1 squared, or C just equals the square root of 2. And so I can use this triangle to come up with the six trigonometric functions for 45 degrees. And remember, as we mentioned before, there's only one value, since this is a function, that the sine of 45 degrees is going to be the same value no matter what, how big the triangle is that that 45 degree angle is in. So the definition of sine, we've got 45 degrees, is going to be the opposite over the hypotenuse. This would be 1 over the square root of 2. If we rationalize this, this would be the square root of 2 over 2. The cosine of 45 is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And so that's going to be 1 over the square root of 2, which is also the square root of 2 over 2. The tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. And so the tangent of 45 degrees is just going to be 1. When I go to write in the three reciprocal functions, the cosecant of 45 degrees, is going to be just the square root of 2. It's the reciprocal of 1 over the square root of 2. The secant of 45 degrees is going to be the reciprocal of the cosine. That's also going to be the square root of 2. And the cotangent of 45 degrees is going to be the reciprocal of 1, which is 1. So one thing that students often do, I mean, some people are very good at memorizing, and so you'll need to know that the sine of 45 degrees is the square root of 2 over 2, and the cosine is the square root of 2 over 2, and the tangent is 1. Then you can find the reciprocals. Um, but a lot of students just memorize the triangle, and since they have an understanding of SOHCAHTOA, they can generate those values. So the other values that we want to look at are the 30, the 30 degrees and the 60 degrees, the trig functions of those. So now we want to look at the trig functions of 30 degrees and 60 degrees, and we're going to look at a, another triangle. And this triangle is called an equilateral triangle. All right, sorry about that. I had isosceles. It should say equilateral on your, um, on your paper. So we're going to start with an equilateral triangle, and that's a triangle that has all three sides equal. And this equilateral triangle is going to have sides of length 2. And so in an equilateral triangle, the angles are all equal also. And so since there are 180 degrees in a triangle, each one of these angles is 60 degrees. If I drop a perpendicular line down, that's going to bisect the, the base here. So this is going to be 90 degrees. This angle is 60 degrees. And this has been cut in half. This is 30 degrees. So what I'd like to do now is come up with a new triangle. Since I've cut this in half, my new triangle 
is going to have a base of 1 because we're dealing with half of the base of the original triangle, the one side of 2 from the original, and now I have to find, we'll call this b, I have to find the length of this side. So I know that 2 squared equals 1 squared plus b squared. So b is going to equal, if I take 4 minus 1, that's going to be 3, so b will equal the square root of 3. So now we can find the trigonometric functions of 30 degrees and 60 degrees. So let's start with the sine, cosine, and tangent of 30 degrees. I've set up my triangle. I found b is equal to the square root of 3. So now that we found b, we have a new triangle. And this triangle is called the 30, 60, 90 degree right triangle. So it has a base of 1, half the original, the length of 2, and the side that we found by using the Pythagorean theorem, which is the square root of 3. So this is a special triangle. It would be helpful if you memorized it. And from this triangle, we can generate the trig functions for 30 degrees and for 60 degrees. So I'm going to do the sine, cosine, and tangent of each. And then you can practice and play around and just to take the reciprocals of those three to find the other three trig functions. So here we go. We know that the sine is the so the sine of 30, so I'm focusing on 30 degrees, the side opposite is 1, the hypotenuse is 2, so the sine of 30 degrees is a half. The cosine of 30 degrees is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, so we want the side touching the 30, which is the square root of 3, over the hypotenuse, which is 2. We'll have the tangent of 30 degrees, which is Here's my 30. The opposite is 1. The adjacent is the square root of 3. So that would be 1 over the square root of 3, or if we rationalize it, the square root of 3 over 3. Again, you can find the cosecant, the secant, and the cotangent by taking the reciprocal of these three values. But now let's use the same triangle to find the trig functions of 60 degrees. So we'll be looking at this angle. So the sine of 60 would be the side opposite of 60 over the hypotenuse. So this is the square root of 3 over 2. The cosine of 60 would be the side adjacent 60, the side touching it, and the hypotenuse. So that's going to be 1 half. And then the tangent of 60 is the opposite over the adjacent. So it's going to be the square root of 3 over 1, or just the square root of 3. And again, you can find the reciprocal functions, the cosecant, the secant, and the cotangent by taking the reciprocal of these three. So in example five, we're going to use the trigonometric uh, use the special triangles to evaluate some trig functions. And if you see something in radians, you can always convert it to degrees to help you to help you solve this. Again, I would at this point try to, as soon as possible, try to memorize these two special triangles. So we're going to do these problems in the next video.